All right, everyone. I wanted to go over a haul that I ended up with. Um, you know, I ran there in between live sales on a Wednesday. So there really wasn't any time to um, videotape there because I didn't have a lot of time to go through the items. And then it was also their last day. So they were like giving the stuff away. So I ended up with all of this um, Lagerberger pottery. I don't really know much about Lagerberger pottery. So I thought this was a good opportunity for me to learn some items about it. I noticed that these ones though were written, you know, made in the USA. I think these are made in the USA and then these little containers back there and the rest of the stuff is made in China. It's my understanding, like anything else, the stuff that's made in the USA is a little bit more sought after. So we ended up, I think I gave her $30 is what she wanted for these items. So I had started just to take the USA stuff. She's like, just take it all, just take it all. I want to get rid of it. So I ended up taking it all. I hopefully I can just mark it down to get it, um, to get rid of it. So I noticed that these are like double cake pans or something, or cause these can all be used in the oven. So double cake pans. And then we got like a strawberry container. Um, these, these are either corn cob holders or something here. The three little salt crocks, these divided plates, two little condiment crocks. Um, these are actually, ooh, the little fish fell over. Um, these are actually napkin rings. They were still new in the box. So we got the napkin rings. New in the box there. So not too bad with that. Um, this little fish, he was kind of cute. The little um, loaf pan. And then this is even a Lagerberger basket back here. I thought he was kind of cool. And then we got this piece of pottery here I thought was really nice. This, I don't know. I thought that was kind of cute. I don't know if that's going to be a girly candle or not, but I just like the shape of that. This little anchor hocking milk for Santa. These three little wood carvings. There's like an ox, a rhino, and a camel. I thought this turkey was in really good shape. Usually you see them, they're broke. Probably hobbyist piece, but he had some good coloring on them. I grabbed that. This is a 2010 um, Scream. It's like brand new in package. It still has a little guy, has the tag in him. Um, these two little blue hand blowing glass pieces. And I grabbed these, they had all their jewelry in these little cases. So this is just like a cornucopia and a butterfly. And I believe these are like made in Taiwan. So I like that they put them, all their jewelry was in these cases. And then they had these Pyrex dishes. These are actually the Pyrex bowls that I use every day. They had these two and they had the, these lids on them, but these go to casserole dishes, not Cinderella bowls. So I did get the two um, Pyrex bowls. I also got, which has already sold, a Royal Hager um, vase. I'll put a picture of it here. And, oh, I got two um, metal plates. Well, like, you know, Halloween. They were metal Halloween serving plates. Um, one of them has already sold. I will put pictures of those also here. Um, yeah, so these were all the items that I ended up picking up. Um, most of the Lagerberger is listed. And you may see some of this other items come to a live sale. So, yeah, a lot of this stuff is already listed. 
So with that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what was your most favorite piece. Do you also like Lagerberger pottery? I know that the Lagerberger baskets have um, a great following, um, but does anybody, is there a specific piece that you should look for in the Lagerberger pottery, or would you just not pick it up at all? Leave a comment below. Until then, stay retro, my friends. Bye, everyone.